How do you factory reset iPhone without a password? And I'll be sharing the steps right here. Hey, this is Abjiker channel. In this video, you will learn two ways to factory your iPhone without password and wipe its data. If you're experiencing issue with your iPhone, like when it's stuck on Apple logo, frozen, or not turning on, resetting the device to its factory settings may solve the issue. Or if you tend to sell or give away your iPhone, you'll want to reset it, so all your contacts, photos, messages and any information are cleared from the device. Or perhaps you've forgotten your passcode to access iPhone, or your device shows iPhone is disabled on its screen after entering wrong passcodes multiple times, and you're told that the only way is to do a factory reset without password. Factory resetting an iPhone sets the device to its default conditions. So before you do this, it's important to back up the data via Clitter iTunes, so you won't lose your important information. After your iPhone has been reset, you can restore data with your backup. Now let's dive in. The first method is AppGeeker's iOS system recovery tool. It's been available for years and keep your iPhone performing at its best. It makes it simple and easy to reset iPhone without password and erase unavailable screen as well as does a great of troubleshooting system hiccups on your malfunctioning iPhone. Now download the software on your Mac or PC from AppGeeker website and I'll also leave a download link in the description section below. Alright, open iOS system recovery. Use a USB cable to connect your phone to computer. I use a Windows PC, and you can do this on a Mac as the process is exactly the same. Click More Tools at the bottom left corner, and then you will see several tabs. Click iOS System Recovery and in the next screen, click Start button. Now you need to check the advanced mode for a factory reset. Right beneath it, you will see an alert stating, fix this device with this mode, but all data of your device will be completely erased. If you're ready, click confirm button. Since your iPhone is unavailable or disabled, or it's not working or freezing, you'll be asked to enter recovery mode, so the software could recognize the device. The process varies from your iPhone model, and the good news is that the software comes with instructions for each device. Now, choose the appropriate tab at the top and follow the steps. For my iPhone 11, press combinations of volume up button, volume down button and the side button. Let do this right now. Press and quickly release volume up button, press and release volume down button, then press and hold the side button until you see the restore screen. Keep holding and keep holding even when the Apple logo appears. The screen will then show a tiny laptop and a charging cable, which means that your iPhone is now in recovery mode. When the software detects your iPhone, you need to choose a firmware package to download, which is used to refresh your device. Click Next button. Wait for the process to complete it may take 10 to 15 minutes. Once the firmware is downloaded, click Fix button. Before you do this, you need to know that this will wipe everything off your phone, so all your data stored in it would be gone, unless you have an ICLID backup or iTunes backup in place. Now go ahead to click Fix button to restore your iPhone to factory settings. That's it. Once the deletion is completed, your device will restart as new. Sign in with your Apple ID to use the iPhone, set a password, and restore your data with your backup. The second method to factory reset your iPhone without a password is to use iTunes or Finder. In case you've previously since your iPhone or backed it up to iTunes, you can easily restore it without asking for a passcode. To do this, open iTunes or Finder, and then plug your phone into your computer. Locate your device and click Restore iPhone button. You'll be prompted to back up your phone before restoring the software. Do the backup, and next, hit the Restore button to reset iPhone to factory defaults, and erase all contents. If you're encountering problem with iPhone glitching, you need to first put it into recovery mode. The steps for doing this have been mentioned in the first method above. As soon as the Restore screen appears, connect the phone to the computer. Then open iTunes or Finder. Now, a message pops up and says, there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated and restored. Click on Restore. In the next pop-up, are you sure you want to restore the iPhone to its factory settings? All of your media and other data will be erased, and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed. Hit Restore and Update. Then click Agree. Now your computer is now factory resetting your iPhone and updating the iOS. If your phone goes out of the recovery mode during the restore, you need to re-enter it. The process takes about half an hour to be done. After the phone is restored to factory settings, it should restart. You will find you lose all of your contacts, music, messages, videos, photos and any other data files. 
your device is brand new. So this is all about how to factory reset your iPhone without a password and get your device back into working order. If you have any question about this, leave your comment below. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button on the video if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe to App Geeker channel for more tips. I will see you guys on the next one.